Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Alex Real NFT Gaming, guys. And man, adopt me. Holy cow. So Halloween update is coming to an end. Speaking of which, happy Halloween to everyone watching, guys. And also, Feliz Dia de los Muertos. That's right, guys. You heard that right. Dia de los Muertos is coming into Adopt Me right when the Halloween event ends on Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's talk a little bit about what's going to happen and what to expect. And then we'll also talk a little bit about the history of Dia de los Muertos. That way you guys know exactly what Dia de los Muertos is while I go around Adoption Island collecting these purple pumpkins. Speaking of the purple pumpkin, guys, on Friday before 11 a.m., whatever purple pumpkins you have, my advice is you go ahead and you redeem those right away. And here's why. The kiosk of the purple pumpkins will be gone at Friday 11 a.m. And the purple pumpkins will also leave your inventory. What's not leaving your inventory, which is pretty exciting news, is your candy corn. So make sure you're collecting and grinding out to collect as much candy corn as you possibly can for the next several hours leading all the way until Friday 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because at that time, if you have not turned in your candy corn, guess what? You still have time to turn in your candy corn one week after the update ends. You will no longer be able to collect candy corn but you will be able to still use your candy corn to get some of the great pets from this update. All you have to do is show up to the site where the secret Dia de los Muertos wagon will be at. I've confirmed though from Adopt Me that that wagon will be where the pet shop currently is right now in Adoption Island. So as you go in Adoption Island, you'll notice there's some crazy lightning, there's portals, there's all kinds of crazy things happening. Tim's are going crazy. All the Glorpatine technology is going insane, you guys. And it's creating this spooky vortex that's gonna suck up the pet shop and shoot this wagon right into that place. That wagon is where you'll be able to go in and continue to turn in your candy corn for some of the pets of the current Halloween event. Not the Robux pets, not the pumpkin friend, but all the other pets and items that are currently available to get with candy corn, you will be able to have the chance of still getting all the way on till November 8th. So keep that in mind, all the way on to November 8th, you will be able to do that. With that being said, Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead, guys, is coming to Adoption Island along with some incredible new friends to adopt and adopt me, guys. We have the Ultra Rare Grave Owl, which will cost 2,500 bucks. As you see here, dude, it is so freaking cute and colorful. Think of the movie Coco when you think of these pets. So Los Alebrijes, as they call it, is the traditional pets that are the guide. I'll get more into that though. So stay tuned and make sure you keep watching this video because I will hit you up with some Dio de los Muertos history, guys. But we have, for 2,500 bucks, the Ultra Rare Grave Owl, guys. Then, the incredible, legendary Sugar Axolotl is 700 Robux. And guys, I gotta tell you, it is one of the cutest pets I have seen in Adopt Me in a long time. Adopt Me has done a great job with some of these pets, but bro, this one is just off the charts, man. Again, I don't think I wanna make any of these neon, just because of how cool and colorful they look, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. Stay tuned and we'll find out. But you could again, adopt the legendary Sugar Axolotl for 700 Robux in that wagon. Then, probably my favorite pet, El Hawad, the Golden Jaguar, guys. It is an ultra rare pet. And here is how you could adopt a Golden Jaguar. Once you have unlocked your first Jaguar, then you can purchase more for 2,000 bucks in the wagon. The way you unlock the Jaguar is you need to go through and collect different rings. Once you're done collecting the rings, 
it unlocks that first Jaguar. You collect the rings by playing Adopt Me for 45 minutes. Every 45 minutes of completion, completed play, you collect a ring. Once you've collected the rings, it unlocks the Jaguar. Once it unlocks the Jaguar, you could go ahead and buy them for 2,000 Adopt Me bucks each, guys. So don't forget, it'll be the wagon where the pet shop currently is. Not where the pet shop was, because the pet shop, I think, is going to return to its spot, which is where the grave currently is, guys. And then the wagon is going to be there on Adoption Island, right where the pet shop currently is. That is where you could, again, use your candy corn for all the current pets all the way up to November 8th. Once again, you can't get any more candy corn, but you could use your candy corn. And then for Adopt Me Bucks, guys, for 2,500 bucks each, you could get the ultra rare Gray Vowel. Once you unlock your first Golden Jaguar, you could go ahead and spend 2,000 bucks each other one. And for 700 Robux, guys, you could go ahead and adopt your very own legendary Sugar Axolotl. Guys, super cool. Um, hope you're enjoying the fireworks on Adoption Island. Adopt Me went ahead and released some cool fireworks today uh, to celebrate, well, actually last night, to celebrate Halloween. And they're so cool. Amazing touch, uplift games, and adopt me. So what is Day of the Dead? What is Dia de los Muertos? So kind of as I said earlier, guys, if you go and watch the movie Coco, Mama Coco, uh, and uh, the Disney movie there, it kind of breaks down what Day of the Dead is, guys. It's basically a celebration where families come together and they remember all the great times and they have fun and they, they talk about everything that their ancestors did, the ones that have passed, and they give uh, remembrance to them, guys. And it's pretty cool. Primarily, those of Mexican descent are the ones that celebrate Dia de los Muertos. So it is a Spanish holiday. It's a holiday traditionally celebrated either on November 1st and 2nd. Uh, although there is other days such as October 31st or November 6th may be included depending on your locality, guys. The multi-day holiday involves fam family and friends gathering to pay respects and remember friends and family members who have passed away. Eso es porque lo llaman Día de los Muertos, because it's a day to celebrate the dead, los muertos. Uh, these celebrations can take humorous tones, and those celebrating remember amusing events and anecdotes uh, about their dearly departed, guys. So pretty cool to think that that's the way this culture comes together and they remember those that have since passed, guys. Uh, it's widely observed in Mexico where it largely developed and it's also observed in other places, especially by people of American heritage. The observance falls during the Christian period of, uh, bro, I don't even know that word. Uh, so argue that there is an indigenous Mexican or ancient Aztec influence that account for the custom and it has become a way to remember those forebearers of Mexican culture. The Day of the Dead is largely seen as having a festive characteristics. Once again, that's why we see the pets the way they look with all the colors or as they call them, los alebrilles. Those are the ones that transport or help guide the spirits uh, from the land of the dead to the land of the living, as you saw in Coco. And then they're able to interact with their families uh, while they're there and the dead come back and kind of not haunt, but take part in the celebrations in their own way. Guys, super cool that Adopt Me is bringing this, adding more culture and events to the game, guys. New way of adding and introducing pets, but pets that have meaning now, especially with the seasonality and the time frame. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.